everyone welcome back to my channel today is my october favorites video for 2020 i'm finally back in line you guys i was getting so delayed when it came to monthly favorites i think august was late september was late and i am finally on time for the monthly favorites so before we jump into the products that i'm so excited to share with you guys i want to give a huge shout out to my friend angie from Gigi's beauty she is collaborating with me on this video i have collaborated with her in the past and she is so amazing i love her to pieces she actually when we were talking about uh collaborating again she said i have to tell you your followers, they are the most supportive and loving people. When we collaborated the last time and I had several of your subscribers commenting on my video, she said, you have the best supportive followers. And I'm like, I do. I am so incredibly blessed. You guys are always amazing. And I know that you will love Gigi's Beauty. She's on top of all of the latest products that are released and she's thorough and she's beautiful. And I am just so, so happy to introduce her to you guys again and definitely check out her channel. You will not regret it. She is so sweet, so fun. And I love seeing channels like these grow and get that love because they are, you know, they're important to this platform and they come from a very realistic perspective. And I just, I love her. I think you guys will love her channel. Definitely check it out. Thank you, Angie, so much for uh, collaborating with me on this video. She's gonna go through her monthly favorites for the month of October and she's got a beautiful collection of like high-end luxury makeup and she tries so hard to review as much as she possibly can with her little children that she has running around and she's incredible. So definitely check out her channel, send her some love, let her you know that you are from my family and let's go ahead and jump into my favorites. I will probably save the fells for the end because I'm in one of those moods. I'm in a very good mood and I want to be happy. <laughs> so we're going to jump into the ones that make me happy. So the first ones I want to talk about are these brushes from Refer. I had them clean, but I wanted to use this this morning and ugh, ah. okay. So this is their new holiday collection. And I had a long conversation with Tom. Uh, he and I were Skyping a couple weeks ago and he kind of explained the inspiration behind these brushes. This is the bronzer brush that I love so, so much. And I just, uh, I love this. It looks just like this one. This one's been used a thousand times and washed. So this is a newer one. Um, but this is also the prototype, but this is the bronzer brush and they reintroduced it as an actual brush that you can buy. And this is the 25 brush. Now this brush, I have been using this prototype for probably a year and a half. It was, I think it was last summer when Tom first gave me this brush and I was in love. This is the foundation brush that I love to use. I never can use it on camera because it's never been available. And this uh, blends out my foundation like a dream. And in fact, I've heard people say that it reminds them of the Tom Ford foundation brush. The way that it's shaped and the way that it blends, it's just fantastic. So when I found out they were releasing this for you guys to enjoy, I was beyond excited. Then we have the number 25 brush. Then we have the number 23 brush. Now you're looking at that going, dang, that looks very similar to the number three, but they're not. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. This one right here is the 23, and this one over here on the end is the, tw is the three. So you can clearly see the difference between these two. This is like half the size of the number three, and it is perfect for inner corner highlight, blending out your eyeliner, uh, you know, even bringing some shadow up here around along the brow bone, blending out your lower lash line right there next to the lash line. Like I love, this is like the workhorse. Such a great brush. This brush set was going to retail for $216 because all of these brushes are worth it. But when I talked to Tom, he said, you know, we decided because of COVID and everything that's been happening. And he said, we wanted to give a huge discount on our holiday collection. So this collection, three brushes is $116. It's fantastic. This brush alone is worth over $100 alone. So 
Great, great brushes, great time to pick them up. I will leave them listed in the description box down below. And also they have this new uh, container that you can buy separately. I use them separately, but this is how the set comes like this and you can buy this separately to keep your brushes in, which I really like. I love the refer brushes, they're some of my favorites. And the nice thing is if you're on their website, if you're looking at any of the other individual brushes, they are also 20% off still right now. So I wanted to mention the refer holiday brush collection that I am personally excited about. If you could hear just how much they love their customers and how much they love this community on the creator side, they are so supportive and so amazing. And I just love shouting out to any refer brushes because the quality is there and the brand cares about their customers. And I love that about them. So I've had a lot of you guys ask me, what do you use for fake tan? I know that it's in October right now, but I don't know if you're like me, but I wanna hang on to my tan, especially during the winter. I am never going without tan. I always put fake tan on every single week. It's just my routine. Recently, I came across the best concoction. <laughs> I am loving this. I have come across the best concoction on mixing two tanning solutions together, and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. These two, right here these two prop bottles right here have become my holy grail mixing them together meaning i do two pumps of this and two pumps of this this one's got like the green tone to it this one has more of the orange tone and when you mix them together it's like a beautiful sensation so this is the two hour express in the shade dark and this one is the uh self tanning foam in the ultra dark from bondi sands both of these together, it's a beautiful situation. So I have been loving these. I have to admit, my favorite kind of tanning brush as far as just what really blends the tan out, like around, you know, here and around here, and I kind of go around here and all around my knees and my elbows and all over the place, is this brush. This is a little bit expensive. I picked this up at Ulta. I would definitely try to use like a 20% off coupon if you could, but it's from Iconic London and it is such a good brush. It's a body brush and I really, really love this. I've tried to use this one from Patrick Ta and this one works okay. I will say it does, but there's something about this one. I don't know, I just love this. So this has been one of my favorites. And I have to say, I recently tried this. Uh, I recently tried this the last time I ordered from Loving Tan. I got the Deluxe Gradual Tan. Uh, this is a natural olive color. I got it in the dark, which is for medium to dark skin tones. And I just kind of put it on the places where I want to be a little bit darker. I love this. So that has been kind of my favorite routine. I'll spray these onto the mitt, and then once I blended them, blended it out with the mitt, I will go over all of the special places with this brush, and then sometimes I will grab this and put it just kind of on my upper body. It's fantastic. So I wanted to share that with you guys because I've been really, really loving this concoction. So if you're my skin tone, uh, I think you will love this concoction. I think Let's jump in to these eyelashes, you guys. Okay, so as you know, I <sighs> last month I was curling my real lashes that I have worked really hard to grow out. I mean, it's been a process. And I, my hand twitched on me, like the muscle in my hand when I was crimping, like twitched. I didn't move it. I didn't do anything. I wasn't scared. Nobody scared me. Nothing. I was just, wink, and it ripped out these lashes right here. And it sucks so bad. So I bought these on Sephora. These are the House of Lashes and Patrick Ta collaboration. And I am loving these. I have a lot of individual lashes from Ardell. I have them from Kiss. I have them from several different brands. And I love these. I think these are fantastic. But you know, you have short, medium, and long. First of all, you have short, medium, and long row. And 
the way that they sit, they look very natural. These are the lashes that I reach for because these lashes over here are doing very well. And when I coat some mascara on them, they just come alive and they're thicker and fuller and they're looking so good. So on those days where I don't really wanna put on like strip lashes like I have on right now, I will grab for these and I am loving these. So while Sephora's having their sale, I'm gonna stock up on these suckers because they've become, like, they have saved me. I'm gonna tell you right now, I have really loved them. Now we have this from Makeup by Mario. I think in my personal humble opinion, this is the best product that he launched. This is the Master Eye Prep and Set. I have been loving this because everything is all in one. You have two tones right here to kind of highlight where you want, and that's what I do. This is the medium palette. I will use this right close to the brow bone, and then I will use this on the actual lid. And then this down here is the powder, and I use that to set it, and it's fantastic. I have been really, really loving this. This has been very handy for me, and I love how it's all in one, but it's an actual really great formula because it's not very thick. It's a very thin uh, layer of product, but it's got a lot of pigmentation. I would not wear this as concealer because I think it's probably gonna be a little bit drying as a concealer, but it's not, you know, it reminds me of the MAC uh, Painterly Paint Pots, but the difference is the MAC ones are a little bit too dry for me, but it's a very thick formula. This one is a very thin formula, but it's got a lot of opacity and it just kind of cancels out everything that's on the eyelid and gives you kind of a blank canvas to go in. And I've really been enjoying this. This has been a great, great product. Now the concealer that I have found myself reaching for, you guys, the entire month of October, I have been grabbing this from Dior. This is the Forever Skin Correct. I'm wearing it right now. I feel like it's very natural. And yes, my mascara, I've just filmed the, um, <laughs> I just filmed the uh, Fenty Holiday Collection, and I like that Fenty uh, mascara, but man, does it give me raccoon eyes. Oh, I shouldn't have used it on my lower lashes, but it is what it is. Anyway, this is the concealer I've been reaching for. I have it in shade 3W, which is probably just about one or two shades lighter than my foundation, which is where I love it. And I just think this is so good as a concealer. It's very soft under the eye. Yes, it's not as much coverage from my hourglass, but I still really love the way that it looks and feels throughout the day. And I've just been really, really loving it. I cannot deny that I've been loving this. That's so good. Okay, I gotta talk about these palettes. These two palettes shocked me. They came out of nowhere. The Rare Beauty. These are so fun and I used them the other day and like I showed in my video, I do think that you gotta love a lot of color to love a palette like this. Um, these have a wide variety of colors to them and they're very, very colorful and fun. But the, I think the thing that I love the most about these, like I mentioned in my review, is that I can put it on the lid and blend it up into the crease and it just looks beautiful. It's one of those that is just kind of a one and done type of situation, which is the reason why there are no mats in here. And it's one of the better formulas that I've used at such an affordable price point. I mean, these are $25 each and I'm so impressed. And I don't know that I've heard a lot of negative about these. I was really surprised how much I really enjoyed using these and I've continued to enjoy them since I reviewed them. And I just think these are great, especially for those of you out there who love color, you, you will just love these. These are so good. And the way that they blend into the crease, you don't really feel like you need to pull for a matte because there's something to be said about a shimmer that looks beautiful on the lid, but can blend into the crease on its own without a matte. And that's what these do. They're fantastic. I have to say, I am still loving them. They're very pretty, but I do think you really need to love color in order to justify the spend on them, but they are very pretty. Now, the next product I talked about in my Sephora recommendations video, I have to give this a standing ovation. I am loving my Dyson Airwrap. I am loving it. I am loving this so much. I've been using it ever since I got it, and my hair is has more volume and I continue to keep that volume, it's crazy. So I'm really mad at myself because in that video, I said the reason why I had I didn't buy it is because I just didn't love the gray, gray and pink, which was so stupid to allow it to stop me from buying that thing. 
because I have been loving it so much that I'm like, I could have had all this volume a year and a half or whenever that thing came out. What was I thinking? Because now the pink and gray is grown on me. I think because I love the product so much, I'm like, the pink and gray is actually a cute color story. Like, what is your problem, Tara? I'm so dumb. I love my air wrap. I love it. And yes, I will be creating a video very soon on how to use it. This last weekend has been kind of crazy, you guys. Uh, I will probably get into that later on. Uh, it's We have another um, family member who is, you know, not doing very well health-wise and it's just been a very rough week. So I will be filming that video very soon. Uh, thank you for being patient, but I wanna help you guys use it and learn how to love it like I do because when I first got that thing, you guys, I wanted to throw it out the window. I was like, what in the hell is this stupid thing? Three hours, I messed with it. And I was like, this is ridiculous. So I went to bed, got up the next day, you know, kind of sprayed some water on my hair and got it kind of a little bit dampened. We started over again, but I had to watch a few videos for me to fully understand how to use that. And look at this swoop I got. I have never had that swoop in my life. Never, ever, 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 ever have I had that swoop. And I love the way that it makes my hair just look so much more volumized. And I don't have to just like manipulate my hair constantly. I don't have to rat it like I used to. Like, I love it. Oh my God. Okay, we're going to move on from the Dyson Air Wrap, but I can tell you. <laughs> I'm crazy for it. Let's talk about the Dazzling Diamonds. I also mentioned this in my Sephora video and I'm still loving it. It is so pretty. Oh, I love her. I love her. I love her. I love this palette. It is just so pretty and I cannot help but reach for it constantly. You guys, it's just become one of those products that I just keep grabbing and grabbing and I'm just absolutely loving it. Now, in my Sephora video, I mentioned that I had been using this one from from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk Palettes of Pop. And I see why I don't like it. I have the exact same colors. So if you notice, these two are the exact same shades and these two are the exact same shades. So when I was using it, I was like, oh, okay, well, that's a pretty shade. And then I was swatching it and I'm like, oh, that's pretty. And then I'm like, wait, that looks exactly the same. So they screwed up when they created this palette. So these two are the exact same shades. This shade is the same shade as this shade. This shade is the same shade as this shade. And one of my subscribers was like, Tara, your palette looks different than mine. And she commented and she's like, I don't think you have the same palette as I do. And I'm like, wait, holy crap, she's right. So thank you. You know who you are. Thank you for letting me know. I've reached out to Charlotte Tilbury and they're sending me another one. And it is exactly the same shades. Because <laughs> I kept thinking... Why would, because here's the thing, I, I'm justifying this in my mind. I'm like, okay, I know that Charlotte Tilbury does this to us all the time. <laughs> she creates the same kind of thing. And I'm like, okay, but these look so close. Like why in the hell would she create a palette where the two shades up here look the exact same in these shades? <laughs> why it didn't dawn on me, I will never know. I, because here's the thing, I wasn't reviewing it. So it wasn't like I was really diving in to kind of, you know, all I was doing was playing with it and pulling for it to see, you know, if I liked it and what I thought about it. And so I wasn't like diving in like I would if I was reviewing it. And I was like, what the hell is this? <sighs> so now we've put that to bed. When I get the other one and when I get the one that actually has the right shades, <laughs> I will let you guys know how I feel about this palette. But Lord have mercy. It would only happen to me. I'm telling you, it's my luck. I don't know what the hell happened, but I got the same shades. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So let's grab this shade right here. This is too funny. It would only happen to me. Okay. Then I'm going to grab with another finger, this shade right here. Check this out. They're exactly the same. They're the same. And it took my subscriber to go ding, 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 ding. Tara Lynn, hello moron, you have you have two shades that are exactly the same. Ah. Any whoosies, so I'll keep you guys updated on that palette. Uh, okay, let's move into a few products that I didn't love for the month of October. And I first have to start out with this. I've never talked to you guys about this on camera. I have told you how much I've been loving the La Mer foundation. I don't know if I mentioned it in my September favorites, 
but oh my gosh, I've been loving this. I also recommended it in my Sephora favorites because even though this is so stupidly expensive, I finally got the right shade and I fell madly in love. Well, when I bought this, I bought the concealer. This is the La Mer, um, this is just called the concealer. That's what it is. And I have it in the shade medium. It's the lightest medium I've ever seen in my entire life. First of all, the shade is bad. It is like bright, right? Is this not like a white shade? This looks white, okay? Let me show you what it looks like next to my uh, Dior in the in the shade um, 3W. I mean, it's white, okay? So first of all, the shade wasn't the best, but it is the most drying formula. It was so drying. <gasps> my under eyes, literally, my under eyes looked so dry by the end of the night. I was like, what in the world? Thank goodness I wasn't filming. I was just kind of playing around with it terrible concealer do not waste your money on this concealer and the thing was is because i love the foundation so much i was thinking well maybe i'll love the concealer D listen to me i love the foundation don't mess with the concealer it's not worth the money now the other products are these from makeup by mario don't hate me don't shoot the messenger but these are not my favorite formula and there's a couple of reasons for that don't get me wrong they're very pretty yes but this bronzite is still so crumbly and i've heard so many people since i reviewed this say that this shade has broken apart on them it's such a crumbly formula and i just i don't like it i think it's terrible and the problem with it is now i'm getting to the point where i'm not getting that much pigment like it's just a tiny bit so these are not my favorite you guys i i feel like i mean this is exactly the same as the Diamond Bomb, How Many Carrots from uh, Fenty. And you will just love the ones from Fenty so much better. They swipe away so quick on the skin that they just don't look that pretty on the skin. And I just, I feel like they need a better formula. I feel like I just, I would pass on those, you guys. I really would. I would still pass on them. And I'm still not loving the Dior palettes that I got. I feel like I'm kind of disappointed in them. Uh, I love my Dior uh, backstage face palettes and so I was really excited about them and it's not that they're really bad but I think I was just expecting something a little bit better from them and I didn't get that so I just I oh, I just I wish they were a little bit better I do I think my favorite is the pink one uh this one right here I think the my favorite of them is this one this one is very very pretty um, but I just felt like the shades needed to be a little bit different in order for me to really like them. And I just, ah, I'm still, I'm still passing on the Dior backstage palettes. I am. If you got them and you're loving them, that makes me happy because that means you didn't waste your money. The one thing that is so important to me, one of the most important things to me actually coming on camera and talking to you guys is the simple fact of helping you make a great decision when you're buying makeup and spending your money wisely. So the one thing that is my priority is to help you make sure that you don't waste your money. And so if you bought them and you're loving them, then that makes me happy because you didn't waste your money. But for me, there's still a pass. So that's it, you guys. Now, I'm going to ask you guys this, and I don't know if you guys are interested, but... I have a, I have a lot of clothes that I've been buying recently. We're not going to talk about anyway. I have been buying a lot of clothes recently and I was wondering if you guys would be interested in a clothing haul. Not, I don't know that I could try them on just because I don't really know a place in my house where I could set it up and actually try them on, but I could possibly take a few pictures of them on you know what I mean anyway let me know if you guys would be interested in a clothing haul let me know because I have a lot of great stuff you guys that I've been picking up that I've been absolutely loving 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 and let me know if you guys would be interested in something like that those are my October favorites and just a few fells thank you so much Angie from Gigi's Beauty for collaborating with me on this video definitely head over to her channel show her some love she's an amazing creator I am so extremely proud of how she is growing her channel and she's just through and through just a humbled cute wonderful human and I love her to pieces definitely show her some love thank you guys so much 
much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope that you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye.